Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Last week, I asked the community if they'd want to see a video of me relocating my AI360, a G3 Flex, and then adding a couple G4 instants into my backyard. I put these in the backyard in my catio to watch over my cats over the summer. But since it's winter now, I don't need that because the cats won't be going outside. But we do get other animals in the backyard. We do see quite a few stray cats. We have a ton of birds and some rabbits. So that's what this video is going to be about. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. And if you'd like to hire me for network consulting, you can visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com. So this is an overview of what's currently in the backyard. In the catio, there's an AI360 that we'd be looking down. I'm going to end up putting this on the other side of the catio on the outside horizontally so it captures all of the backyard. We then have a G3 Flex which I'll put on the back of the catio. Powering these cameras I have a USW utility box with the USW Flex switch in it and that's connecting back to my mission critical switch which gives it PoE++ power. I will put the previous video in the description below. That will show me doing the trenching to the catio where the cable is currently buried. Over here outside of the picture, I'm going to end up putting a G4 instant and then maybe in the back left-hand corner, we'll run an extension cord and we'll just power it up. We're going to have to get the G4 instance adopted inside as the Wi-Fi is a little weak in that back corner. All right, now I have the G4 instant plugged in and we can see that we have a new device found. So I'm going to add that. Now it's asking us which Wi-Fi network we'd like to connect to. I'll connect it to my camera Wi-Fi network and then we'll put the password in and it should adopt. Now we can see that the camera is updating. So what I need to do, I need to get the other G4 instant adopted into my protect controller. And then we need to go outside, get the AI360 and the G3 flex moved, and then mount these other G4 instants. All right, as you can see, we got a bit of snow over the weekend and these cables right now, they're not attached to the catio, but we're gonna clean this up a bit. I took this off just because I was doing some testing. But this is the USW uh, utility box and there's a switch inside. The AI360 is in there, so we're going to have to take that down. On the inside of the catio, we have this G3 Flex, which we'll be taking out and then putting on the back of the catio. I have this PTZ camera on the back, but we're going to be taking that down. This hasn't been working for months. I just did some testing with it and then shut it down. So let's go ahead and get all this equipment replaced. Also, we got two curious cats. We got the AI360 mounted. After a while of struggling with the bracket, we did get it on. Okay, for this cable, I'm gonna re-terminate it. When I originally did it, I used the pass-through end and I usually don't use pass-through ends outside. I must have only had them. So we're gonna re-terminate this. These are outdoor cables, but they're buried cables, so they do have this gel filling in them, and I'll show you that once I cut it open. So looking at the cable pairs, I pulled them apart, and we could see all of this gel in the cable, and that's to protect it from water. Uh, this isn't buried in the ground, so you could just use outdoor cable that doesn't have the gel filling. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wipe this off and then re-terminate the cable. Okay, so we're done outside now. I'll show you what I did. We rerouted the cables. A couple cables are going up and then over to the AI360. And then we have another cable going to the G3 Flex. Let's take a look at it. This G3 Flex will capture one of my gates. The AI360 will capture a lot of the backyard and we will take a look at these views when we get back inside. I've just set one of the G4 instants on this window ledge here. We'll see how it works throughout the winter. They are supposed to be weatherproof, but we'll see. It does get cold in Canada. And then I have another G4 instant mounted to the back of the fence. So let's go take a look at the views. Now we're back inside. Let's take a look at the views from the cameras in the backyard. So we'll start with the AI360. Now looking at the AI360, even though it's horizontal, we do get a great picture of my whole backyard from fence to fence. And we can see my nice cabling job for one of the G4 instants. One thing that I really love about the AI360 cameras is this de-warp mode. So if we go up to the top right, we could see de-warp video. Now from the de-warp video, we could actually move the camera to wherever we like. It shows us use the keyboard to control direction, press I slash O, or we could use the mouse. So I'm just going to use the mouse. 
and then we could see anywhere in the backyard and this will also save in our video footage so we could do de-warp mode in the video footage you could also zoom in if you'd like now taking a look at the g3 flex we could see my shed and we could also see if anybody enters in this gate we do have quite a lot of birds that sit on here so it will be nice to view that now this is one of the G4 instance that's farthest away from any access point. I have an access point in the living room over here and it is still getting pretty good signal. As you can tell, we could get a crystal clear image. And now we could see some doves and birds on the back fence that are coming in. This is from the G4 instant that's sitting on this ledge. I'm going to see how these go throughout the winter as it does get cold and we get quite a lot of snow. And I'll do a follow up for these G4 instants, but I really do like the cameras for the price point. So that's going to be it for this video of me rearranging my cameras in my backyard. I will put them back in their original place once it becomes summer so that I could watch over my cats. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.